Today, we can communicate instantly with people around the globe through our phones, tablets, and computers. This capability has become an amazingly common phenomenon over the last few decades. For much of the 20th century, and indeed much of the history of civilization, the best and often the only way to communicate with people hundreds of miles away was through letters. The American postal system was created by Benjamin Franklin in order to transport letters and correspondence, and the Roman postal system developed during the reign of Augustus. Only Roman government officials were allowed to use the Roman postal system for official business. All other letters were sent by a private messenger, just like during the Republic. Many letters survive from antiquity. Papyri from Egypt contain private correspondence, and small wooden tablets from Vindawanda, a small Roman military fort along Hadrian's Wall in Britain, preserve short messages passed among inhabitants of the fort. There are also a few collections of letters that were made available to the general public in antiquity and preserved in the manuscript tradition as scribes copied the letters throughout the centuries. The most notable collections of ancient letters are from Cicero, Seneca the Younger, and Pliny the Younger. The many, many letters of Cicero were published after he died in 43 BCE. There are many letters between Cicero and his brother, his son, his close friend Atticus, and many other important Romans, such as Julius Caesar and his assassins Brutus and Cassius. These letters are a great insight into the changing political fortunes of Cicero, how the great Republican statesman coped with these changes, and his more personal life, including how Cicero dealt with the tragic death of his daughter Tullia. In addition to the correspondence of Cicero, the collection of letters also includes a few letters from his contemporaries, including Julius Caesar. Cicero's letters, then, were very much a reflection of his life and his times, or at least how Cicero viewed his life and times. While Cicero's letters seem to reveal Cicero's insights into the end of the Republic, the letters of Seneca the Younger are more about philosophy than the reign of the Emperor Nero. Even though Seneca was an advisor to Nero, the collection of letters by Seneca were about Stoic philosophy and how one could become a Stoic sage. They contained advice for Seneca's friend Lucilius about how to live a life focused on reason and moderation, rather than a life focused on emotion, luxury, and excess. The third collection of letters, by Pliny the Younger, are not only a carefully crafted set of letters, but they also reflect Pliny's life and times in the late 1st century to early 2nd century CE. Pliny wrote nine books of letters in order to show how Pliny is an ideal Roman aristocrat. He enjoys his otium, or leisure time reading literature and writing, often in the countryside and his villas. He is also very good at the opposite of otium, negotium, or conducting business. Pliny had a successful political career under the emperor Domitian and rose to the rank of consul under the emperor Trajan. Some of the success came from his skill as an orator and author. The tenth book of Pliny's letters is a collection of letters between Pliny and the emperor Trajan when Pliny was the governor of Bithynia in Asia Minor. These letters are also arranged in order to portray Pliny as a wise and effective public servant. Each of these three important collections of letters had their own purpose. Cicero may never have planned to publish his letters and merely kept them for personal reference about his own affairs. Seneca certainly wrote his letters as a guide for how to live life according to Stoic philosophical wisdom. Pliny tried to portray his life as that of an ideal Roman aristocrat. All these letters by these three important authors were written with care for their real or potential audience. Whether it be the addressee, someone intercepting the messenger and letter, or the future reader of the entire collection of these famous Romans letters.